Now, uh, this is an issue in uh, Kamwege Fort Fort. I told you goat farming is really uh, spreading like nothing in the whole country. Uh, where we are, this farmer is really very serious. He has put up savannas. I think you can see there is boas the other side. But now here comes an issue. Um, he has got a lot of issues now. But what are those issues that made me to come this side? The farmer has been losing goats day by day. Some don't get sick, some get sick. And these are the clinical signs that they say. Uh, actually, what you see in the background there, this is uh, um, a goat that have just died. Of which we shall, we shall do a post-mortem. But um, if you find a goat sleeping like that, there is saliva on the mouth. Uh, what do we expect, you know? So here, there is two issues, two or three issues. One, these are new animals. Remember I told you how to handle new stock at your farm. Yeah. By the way, the hardest things um, are the stocking. Stocking is one of the most complicated things. But this is how we handle it. When you bring in new animals, I told you when you ship them from one place to the other, animals get weak. And you know what happens? The body immunity lowers. When the body immunity lowers, in case there was an infection in them, the animals, the, 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 the body lowers, the infection shoots and take over the body immunity. What do we do? We treat these animals, when you bring in new animals, keep them alone. Give them long-acting oxy or antibiotic and uh, vitamin to boost their, um, their digestion or to boost the, the metabolism of the body such that it can eat more than recovers from the stress. So we do that. Treat every week oxy 20 and then multivitamin. By the time it makes a month, by the time they make a month, we are sure the body has restored the immunity and then you leave them but in that process you can as well be vaccinating them a disease one by one so this farmer has been having issues animals have been coughing there is no diarrhea but they were coughing general body weakness uh, there is saliva from the mouth when they die they get froth and then when an animal uh, goes down or when it, 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 it falls, uh, when it's about to die, it makes noise and then it twists the, 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 the head or the neck. So to do the post-mortem, we found that there was a, a mixed infection. When I looked at, actually, whenever I find that saliva coming out or the froth coming out from an animal, which is dead, or even the live one, just know hot water does that more. So we'll find water in the heart, so the heart can no longer pump the blood to the body. So it brings that. So that, be very, very attentive. When you see an animal, unusual, general body weakness, there is that saliva. No, hot water might be an issue. So here we have found out there was CCPP, because the animals were coughing, they were weak, but again, they had Africa saliva. So we have found out that there is a mixed infection. There is hot water, and there is also CCPP. So what are we going to do? I've looked at their spraying system. Actually, it was not good, as in mixing of the drug, and the way they have been spraying. They have been using a machine that has a low pressure. Remember, we need a high-pressure machine that can put the drug to go on the skin and go under the skin. You get it so that it is very effective. But these people, they are using a machine that I don't trust. But all in all, this is what we are handling now. These people are going to vaccinate. Because they have a mixed infection. They have uh, hot water and they have CCPP. So we have to deal with them, to deal with them at a go. So they are going to change the spraying system. Uh, they mix the drugs very well. Then after mixing the drugs very well, they are going to handle disease by disease. So 
CCPP, they are going to inject tyrosin for five consecutive days and calvason. Then for hot water, they are going to give uh, Oxid 20 at least this week. And then we change the system of spray. There, we shall clear that. But this farmer really made me uh, come this way. It's a long distance. If I tell you the kilometers I've driven, uh, they are over 370 something or 400. One way. Remember, I have to drive back. So I'll be in 700 and something kilometers. But what made me come here? It's not because I want the money. No, money is not the problem. But a farmer having the interest, having the capability of accumulating number of animals and is losing the animals that way. You get it? So, one of the things that will make you hate farming, one is um, misdiagnosing of the disease. You people, if you follow my videos very well, I do those videos to make sure that you people don't lose. If you're following my videos very well, I go step by step, receiving of the animals, how do you vaccinate, how do you spray. I'm not just wasting time, but I want to empower you and make sure that you're stronger farmers. I will not only be her missy that is strong in goats. I can't manage. I need more other people. That's why I had to come over here, and I'm very sure we have done the PM, and uh, I have done the recommendations, and of which I'm sure we, meet, we shall have a change and the farmer will smile though he should have lost you know when a disease comes in it cannot just go like that so it's better you do a proper diagnosis or ask or make a proper follow-up but otherwise the farm is going to settle and I think I will come back here to show you the success we cannot fail we have troubled with gods, many diseases and so on. That's why when Hamis stalks animals, it's very hard to lose. But new farmers, if they don't follow up very well. And some other thing what you have to know. Most of us, some of us, we need money. We don't mind about where you're taking the animals. But me, I love the animals. Because my intention is to see animals accumulating in the country. So if a farmer is taking the animals and is losing, he's not losing alone. Is losing for all of us, even you, the viewer, who really want the project. Whenever you say farmer losing, just know you're also losing. But all in all, I have to appreciate the hygiene of the place. I think you can see this cannot be affected by the issue of, um, um, of these simple, simple diseases. You get it? It's supposed to be an outbreak because the farm is really very clean. Uh, the, uh, the land is undulating. That is what the God love. Look at the beauty. You can even show them to show them that Uganda is really so beautiful. In the middle of the hill. So beautiful. So let me just wish you the best. I think you don't get uh, a trouble like the same. Uh, follow one by one. When you go on YouTube, have your key points. How do I start goat farming? How do I stock? You know, the moment you end up with my name, you will see all the data. How do I make pastures by Hamis? So don't forget that name, Hamis. Whenever I put it on, you'll have a lot of data that will help you when you're starting. You do not necessarily need to be in Uganda, but you can be in anywhere in the country, and you can use the same data. If it is CCPP in Uganda, it is the same. CCPP in, in, in China, it can be the same even in South Africa. Even the handling will be the same. So let me just wish you the best. Bye-bye for now.